In this video, we're going to take a look at an individual integral. It's going to be a straightforward u substitution trig integral, which would typically be found in a Calc 1 class. So we're going to integrate the sine of x over cosine x to the fifth power. All right, key here is finding, looking at that denominator and trying to find the inside most part. All right, inside most part of this denominator would be cosine. If we do a little bit of thinking ahead, we can see that the derivative of cosine is going to be negative sine, so those signs are going to cross out really nice. So that's where we're going to start. We're going to say we're going to let u equal r cosine x. I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, which is going to be du is equal to a negative sine x dx. We're going to divide both sides by uh, the negative sine x so that we're solving all the way down for dx. So we'll have a du over a negative sine x is equal to that dx. All right, then we're going to come up and start doing some substitutions. So we'll still have our integral sign. We're going to leave sine x in that numerator. We're going to replace the cosine with a u and make that a u to the fifth on the bottom. We're going to take this dx and replace it with the du over negative sine x. So du over negative sine x. All right, what that's going to allow us to do is real easily cross out those signs, which is what we want, and then we are all down in terms of u, which is where we need to be. The negative here is going to come out in front, so we'll have a negative, the integral, of a 1 over u to the fifth du. All right, pretty straightforward integral. We need to be able to use um, you know, exponents here, so we need this moved up so that we will make it a u to the negative 5. So we'll have a negative, the integral, u to the negative 5, du. All right, now we are ready to integrate. We can go ahead and add 1 to that exponent. So when we do that, we'll have a u to the negative 4. All right, the negative out here will still be there. Let's go ahead and show this. And then in front here, we'll have a negative 1 4. Our integration is done. So then we can go ahead and add that plus c. All right, cleaning this up a little bit. Negative times negative will be positive, and this u to the negative 4 can be brought down to the bottom. So we'll have a positive 1 over 4 u to the 4 plus c. And then our last step would be taking u and plugging it back in. So we'll have a 1 over 4 cosine x to the 4th power, and then plus c. So definitely a straightforward u substitution typically would be found in a Calc 1 class. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.